Dear students, welcome to today's class. I am Dr. Bhagwan Ji Jai, lecturer in civil engineering, Dr. B. A. Gowan, Polymer Karat, Dadra Nagar, Delhi. Today we will you will learn what is two-way slab. In two-way slab, basically, if you draw a sketch of two-way slab, it looks like a rectangle. Well, if you see the span. There is one span denoted as LX, that is shorter span, and there is another span denoted as LY, which is a longer span. So, by taking a span ratio of these two spans, if you write a span ratio that is equal to LY by LX. So as per IS 4.6-2000 code, if this ratio is less than equal to 2, then we can say that this slab is a two-way slab. Now basically what is the meaning of two-way slab? Why two-way? Two-way means that this slab is going to bend under the effect of vertical load in both the spans. If you draw a deflective shape, of this slab along shorter span, this slab will deflect like this. And if we draw a deflective shape of this slab along this span between the supports, it will deflect like this. Now you can see in both the stage of deflective diagram that the maximum deflection is in the mid span, and here also it is in the mid span. So, the main characteristic of a two-way slab is that this type of slab bends in both the span and both the spans are critical where we have to design the steel reinforcement to take care of the tensile stresses in the bottom of the slab in the uh, shorter span as well as in the bottom of the slab in the longer span. So, these are the bending characteristics of a two-way slab. Another more important characteristic of two-way slab is that when this type of slab bends, it bends in in different nature in the central region of the slab and in the region surrounding this central region that is the all around this region is known as a district. So the bending in the A district is somewhat different and the bending in the middle strip is also different. What is happening in the middle strip? That in middle strip the bending is because of positive bending moment. And in A district the bending is because of negative bending moment. So in bending moment diagram if you see that this middle strip bends in a sagging way that is sagging bending and because of negative bending moment the slab bends in the hogging way. So the sagging bending means the bending moment creates the maximum tensile stresses in the bottom of the slab in both the spans and the hogging bending moment uh, means that the slab creates positive and negative bending moment that is hogging type of deflection the supports and hence in that case the tension comes on the top of the supports. With this we can say that in two slab both the strips are important the middle strip as well as the A strip. Discuss what is the dimensions of metal strip and edge strip. We can see as per IS 4562000 guidelines for the dimensions of these strips along shorter span, the edge strip length is LX by 8 and the middle strip length is. 3 by 4 LX. So, the same dimensions we can write for the long span. 
where the dimensions of the edge strip is L by by eight, and dimensions for the middle strip is C by four L by. So these dimensions are important while we use to uh, locate the uh, correct space for placement of the reinforcement steel in the middle strip and in the edge strip. With this, we can understand that. In two-way slab, major point is its span ratio, then its bending characteristics, then its uh, dimensions of the middle strip and the the A strip. Now, regarding the support requirement, if you see a cross section of a two-way slab, if it, this is a cross section, vertical cross section of a two-way slab. If we cut a vertical section and look for this from the front and draw a vertical cross section, then this is the total vertical depth of the slab, which is denoted as D, and this is the shortest span L X. Now, this span can be either clear span or center to center of support or effective span now these three types of spans can be shown in the diagram so if this is the total ellipse and if we show here the thickness of the wall on the edge edge of the slab, if the wall is W thick, that is generally one big thick wall, and the distance between inner of the wall from the left side to the inner of the wall on the right side, we can say this is the clear span. If we take the center of the wall on both the sides and we measure the distance between the two, this is the center to center of the span. Now, what is the effective span? It's somewhat different. In two-way slab, if you show here the main steel bar near the bottom of the slab, and if this is a 10 millimeter diameter bar, 10 millimeter diameter bar, the cover between the steel bar and the bottom of the slab is generally 20 millimeter at per IS 4562000. Then the effective span, L effective can written as L clear plus small d, that is effective depth. Now we have to calculate what is effective depth. The effective depth can be calculated from here, that is small d is equal to capital D minus diameter of the bar 10 by 2 that is half of the diameter and minus the nominal cover that is between the bottom of the bar to the bottom of the slab that is 20 mm. So from this equation we can find out the small d that is effective depth of the slab. So with this we can try and find out effective span by taking the L clear and effective depth that is one option and another option is the L center to center that is L clear plus width of the wall. Now between these two, if you compare, whichever is the smaller value, that will be taken as the effective span of the slab. So now we have the major quantity to identify the main technical terms for the two-way slab that we know here, the span of the slab. We have a basic idea of calculating the effective depth of the slab. And with this, we can continue the design of the two-way slab as per as 456 and SP10, SP16 guidelines. Thank you very much for patiently leading to listening to this uh, introductory lecture to the two-way slab under the subject of RCC design of structures. Thank you very much.